Welcome back. Let's find out if we've gotten anything wrong so far. For that, we go to Fox News Channel anchor Patty Ann Brown. Patty Ann is sitting in for Andy Levy, who's homesick playing with his cats. Patty Ann, did you know that your name is an anagram for a wanton barn pit? Which is exactly where I'm taking you after the show. Oh, looking forward to that. <laughs> I like filling in as ombuds person. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, Burger King bubble bath. First of all, Greg, how sad is it that this guy posts this thing on MySpace and then he refuses to go on Red Eye? I guess it would be too degrading. Yes. <laughs> thank, you for, thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> also, fast But you know what, Matt? MySpace is owned by Fox. So in a way, he's on a partner uh, partnered show. That is true. He, he just figured he didn't want to overdo the whole News Corp angle. He's trying to be fair and balanced. I guess that's it. Uh, fast food makes America the greatest country in the world. Mm -hmm. okay. do, I, do I need to back that up? I, I'm asking you to. You don't have to if you can. Well, look, I, I, I've said this before. Uh, if you make something that people like that's economical, I mean, it's cheap, and then it provides all the nutrients that you need. I mean, one Big Mac can serve one person for the whole day. you got the salad, you got the bread, you got the meat all in one place for like a buck. You can't, I mean, aside from the invention of the automobile and Andrax medicated pack, <laughs> I don't see anything better. Okay, I'm sold. Sort of okay. sorry I asked. Uh, <laughs> the Chinese Anti-Defamation League, Bill, apologize to the Chinese. Um, I apologize. My soda does taste a little odd right now, though. <laughs> China. <laughs> they peed it. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, Jonathan, executives, female executives don't want massages and things like that. They just want a faster fax machine. Is this your idea of a nice gift for a woman? <laughs> yeah, well, that's, yeah, that's what I get out my... my <laughs> In fairness, he meant Honig's hose. <laughs> Delighted to play on words. It's the whole J Ho thing. I get it. I get it. Uh, what else did I have here? Um, oh, yes, uh, Jonathan, also. Um, retard, not offensive. Do mentally challenged people, uh, are they, they're, they're the only people who are allowed to call each other retards. Do you hear a lot of mentally challenged people calling each other retards? I'm just saying, Patty Ann, <laughs> that, you know, a lot of African-American people say that only we can use that term. Is it kind of a status quo thing when it comes to the mentally challenged as well? Of course, I would never use that term. Right. Okay. I understood. I understood. Uh, Ramey, you gave legal advice to Robert Downey Jr. He was asking you about the three strikes law. Was he giving any indication of why he wanted to know this information? I think he was taking a poll. He was doing some sort of a survey. I think we all know about Robert Downey Jr.'s prior drug problems. He was perfectly sober and clean and uh, just looking for some perspective. Where did you guys, he had a terrible cold. Where did you guys go to the, uh, for dinner later? <laughs> you don't have to answer that one. I'm the ombudsman right here. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jamie, uh, you apologized before you made a point. You didn't do a joke. You have to understand there are roles on the show. You are the comedian. There is no crossover here. Greg is the host. Ramey is the brains. Jonathan is the geek. And Bill is just, you know, the butt of all the jokes. We don't, there's no crossover here. Should I make a face? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, anything else, anything else. Uh, oh, yeah, back to you, Greg. Uh, ice caps are melting at the rate of 5 million per hour. Yes. <laughs> wow. That's troubling. Here's my feeling, Patty Ann. Uh, most of the computer models for global warming are hypothetical, and uh, there's a lot of disagreement and conflict among what is real and what isn't real. So I've decided to put it, up on, my, put it on myself to make up global warming facts because no, none of them can be disputed. All right, you're right. I, I can't dispute it. I don't have the facts, so I guess we'll just leave it It there. might be 50 million an hour. <laughs> I've changed my mind. Okay. <laughs> I'm done. It feels <laughs> See you towards the end of the show, Patty. Okay. Well done. Thanks. Excellent. Excellent. All right, let me... Time to go back to Patty Ann Brown for the post-game wrap-up. And, uh, Jamie, congratulations. I know your wife is expecting. Do you know the sex of the child? Oh, you know what we do? It was weird. We, we actually have been trying to find out for the last couple of weeks, and we would go. We went two times, and I guess the baby has to be in a certain position. The legs have to be at a good, mm -hmm. but they've been locked. Two times in a row locked, so I thought to myself, well, at least if it's a girl, maybe she won't be a whore. <laughs> <laughs> so happy to hear that. That's great. <laughs> but it is a boy. We found out it's a boy. Woohoo! Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, uh, Remy, you've been both a defense attorney and a prosecutor. What's your biggest trial victory? Well, thank you for Patty and for asking me that. I think that's a tough question to answer. I think every day in the courtroom, fighting for my clients and uh, trying to serve the ends of justice is uh, enough. Stupid but, answer! <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no, my first jury trial as a defense attorney, eight police officers observed hand-to-hand -hand drug transactions, caught my guy, caught the buyers, found his stash of heroin, and I tried the case and won it. So that may Ooh. have been my 
the happiest moment as a Can defense Can I get that stash back, by the way? <laughs> I don't over with it. I'm a free right. man. Quickly to Jonathan right now. Uh, your college roommate says you had a stock ticker running across your dorm room. <laughs> Loser. Yeah. Okay, this is true. This is true. Yeah, you might. Jamie, Jamie, you, you, Jamie, you might say you might say loser, Jamie, but I make in a day what you make in a month, all right? Oh, so yeah. It suits me pretty well. Oh, Those are fun. guess I have to leave it there, Bill. You Sorry, I didn't get you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta go. All right. well, nice job, Patty Ann Brown. Excellent. Thank you, Jonathan Honig, for coming on tonight. Thanks, Greg. Oh, Remy Spencer, wonderful as always.